G'day guys, it's John from TheBrafteeGarden.com and I'm here with another Tuesday's tip. Now, what I'm going to be talking about today is how we can keep the wooden handles on tools nice and smooth so that you won't get splinters in your hands. And it's pretty easy. Now, what I'm talking about will turn a handle on your tool from this looking a bit weathered and grey and all that sort of thing and, and very dry to something more like this which is looking um, a lot, lot smoother a lot less dry and less likely to form splinters. It's pretty easy to do and it's simply applying oil to it. Now what you need to do, one of the first things you'll need to do is to take any stickers or labels or anything that you've got on the wooden handle because obviously that's just going to be a place where dirt's going to gather and <clears throat> it's also going to stop um, oil from getting into the wood. So we'll take this sticker off as best we can. Now some people talk about um, sanding the any varnish or lacquer or any other sealant that you've got on the tool off or on the handle off. I don't I don't really do that. One reason is because I'm a little bit lazy and I couldn't be bothered doing that. But the other reason I think is that's the original source of protection for the handle and if the wood hasn't split or dried out to a degree where that um, lacquer layer or varnish or whatever hasn't come off then you may as well leave it on there because that means that the wood there is still in pretty good condition it's the wood where the varnish has come off where the wood's starting to split that's where you want to get the oil in so for that reason i just leave the lacquer on where it is still in place because like say where the lacquer is still in place it's nice and smooth where it's dry that's where cracks are starting to appear and the wood's becoming will possibly very soon becoming a bit splintery. Okay, now, the way we do this, you get a rag. This is a rag I've already used for applying oil in the past. Actually, this handle that I just did here, I've just used it. And you just get linseed oil. Now, any doesn't matter what the brand it is, but get raw linseed oil. It's got nothing added to it. It's just 100% raw linseed oil. Now, you don't need a lot to do the tool. Okay, we just get our rag and put it on the top, turn the bottle over so it can soak a, a section of the rag and just start at one end of the tool and just basically rub the oil into the tool. Now what I'll do, I'll start at one end first and just rub it in so that you soak the whole length of the handle with linseed oil and go right down to where the tool goes, the handle goes into the actual head of the tool itself. Okay, so starting at one end and working down towards the other. And then what I do is I just soak a little bit more oil into the rag. <clears throat> and then I start from the opposite end and work my way back up to the original end that you started in. So if you start from the end of the handle, and you work down to the head of the tool, then the next time you'll start at the head of the tool and then work your way up to the end of the handle. So that's it. Now you've got a nice coating of oil on this handle. Now what I'll do, I don't rub this oil off. What I'll do is the next time I go and use this tool, I'll have just have a look at the handle. If it still seems like it's got a lot of oil on it, I'll just get a dry rag and just wipe the excess oil off because what I want to happen is I want this oil to soak into the wood and it's not just going to soak into the wood from me giving it a rub with a rag or anything like that just then. It's going to take a while to do it. So I'll leave it. I'll go and hang it up in my shed where it belongs. This oil will get a chance to soak into the wood and basically what, basically what you're doing is you're giving um, basically a moisturising treatment, rubbing moisturiser into the handle. Ladies will 
um, understand that with wanting to moisturize their hands and that sort of thing to um, to keep the skin nice and soft and you're doing the same thing to the wood you're basically moisturizing the handle to keep the handle nice and smooth and and to cause the wood to swell to fill those gaps where the splinters start so it's as easy as that <coughs> all right so there you go that's this week's Tuesday's tip an easy way to keep the wooden handles on your tools nice and smooth so you're not getting splinters from them when you use them as usual if you do have a Tuesday's tip that you would like me to share with others then leave it in a comment down below and I'll I'll do what I can I'll see if I can share it with others and until next time happy birthday gardening bye